Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Resonant Rise. My name is Brink. Today we're going to be working with Ancient Warfare. It's a new mod, for me at least. I don't know how old the mod is, but I do know that the mod developer is still working on it. There's some things missing from the mod that he has planned to release. If we, um, if we get started here, what we need to do is build a research book. As you can see, I have 82 dimlets, which I'm kind of proud of for having looked around and finding these little strongholds all over the place. So what I want to do with the book is right click it and then when I right click it again okay so now this book is bound to me and if I hover over it you'll see it says researcher name Brink the Gamer. Oh yeah! Uh, you'll notice that my um, my armor is off and that is because if I get my helm, oops, can't right click it, cl can't right click a crafting grid with the book. Let's pull up the helm. You'll notice that when I put my helm on or any armor, it shows up down here on the lower left. And so when I have all of my armor on, it fills in my, um, my hotbar area and it gets kind of cluttered. I don't like the way it looks. I'll keep the helm on. It doesn't really bother anything. But yeah, I got to turn the thing off down here, whatever it is. I think it's HUD, the heads up display is the name of the mod. I'll check it out later. But right now what we're doing, we're working with ancient um, warfare and we have a lot of things we can do. But the main thing I want to do for today is called a windmill. And that I do know will require Let's see. We have to build a research table. Let's see if we can pull this up. Research station is what it's called. Uh, we're missing a chest. Let's build a chest. And there we are. So we have a research station. There's also another thing we, we need to do. And that comes later, but we can build it right now since we're here already. We need to build... Let's build one of these because it has four. Uh, we need to build what's called an engineering station, and this is our crafting station, is what is actual, what it actually is. Uh, let's also bring up... I don't know that we need a crafting table. Let's just save it until we're sure we need it. Uh, so I'm just going to place this somewhere here and here. I'll leave a space in here in case uh, we need to put a chest here to access items. I don't know if it works the same as Tinker Tools where it'll see the item in the inventory next to it or maybe this one. I'm not sure. I need to put this book in here and so it has my name in here and now it has it so that let's see adjust research queue. If I click here you'll see that these are the things that I want to research and these are the available things that I can research. I've picked three because I want to learn how to build an engineer, uh, uh, the things that I need to build a windmill. And so I'm not sure if these are the right ones. You can get rid of them all and put them back in here. I just picked invention because it seems logical that this would be the thing I need for a windmill. So after invention, engineering would stand to reason it makes sense and then the wheel that is gears and things like that i'm assuming construction and mathematics will probably be things i also need but for now i think that we will figure out if we do need it do need anything else after we do this at least because i'm, I'm pretty sure 90 percent sure we need to do these so let's pull up invention and we can see, if I click on it, can I click on it? Hmm. Do I escape? Oh, I escape. Okay. So for invention, in order to research or know invention, I need to give it these items. These are the things needed. If you put them in here, the same quantities and the same types in here, it'll count you as having learned invention. So we need sticks, string, charcoal, and torches. Torches, string, uh, charcoal, I don't know. Ah, I was cooking it up, getting it ready for this episode. And um, what was that other thing? <laughs> My memory is so terrible. Uh, torches, sticks. We need sticks. 
Yes, we have plenty. Okay. So let's pull it up here and put it in the way it tells us we need to put it in. We need torches down here. We wait a second, you'll see that the progress bar, I didn't click anything, it just uh, recognized that it was in there. And the progress bar is teaching me all of this stuff. So now I know engineering. The fastest BE degree or BS degree, bachelor's of science or bachelor's of engineering that you'll ever get. So we've done invention. Let's go on to the next thing. We click here, adjust research queue and notice it's gone so we can actually get rid of all of these little by little it'll take a long time i'm sure because there's so much to learn in this mod but little by little you'll get rid of all of it and you'll know it all uh let's do engineering next it looks like it's just paper now now did i put the stuff away i did yeah we're gonna need all these things i, I think i'll keep it in my in my inventory uh we're gonna need paper this time Oh, we only have 33. We got sugarcane reeds outside. Uh, we need more charcoal. And um, some torches, I think it was. But we are running out. This is using up inventory. Uh, let's see. So paper sticks, charcoal, and torches. That should do. And let's put it in there. And the progress should let us go through. And then we can get rid of these things. Because it already took in the stuff we had in there it adjusted it so now we need a hopper a dropper and a stone so i don't need to even go back to that list since i put it in the queue it's doing them one at a time which is great so it's a dropper not a dispenser i keep have to keep that in mind hopper dropper stone and wood hopper i don't have a hopper all right Dropper. Okay, this is the easier one. The dispenser needs the the bow. Uh, stone. Oh, here it is. And wood. It would be oak wood, if I remember correctly. So let's put it in the research. And it'll subtract four from there. Yeah, that should do. Okay. So we're left with this. There shouldn't be anything else. I think we did all three that we put into the queue. And now let's see if we can pull up the uh, the windmill. So let's go back to adjust. And, you know, I'm not sure that we want to be in this one. Or is it this one? Oh, if we put the book in here. In the engineering. Now can we pull up the windmill? All right, so I see the windmill blade. Maybe we can build it. Oh, actually, we can see everything. It doesn't mean that we can build it yet. Aha, so it's only, let's see, this is the controller. I'm assuming we do need this. We need wooden gear set, and it's done in this crafting table. To build this, we'll need wooden sticks. So, yeah, we can do that. That should be easy enough. But there's no question mark so that I can shift question mark it. So I got to remember it, which is a problem. I have a bad memory. We need two of them. You know, we should probably just go ahead and uh, build a lot of them. We have 11. Okay. Oh, we can't. Do okay, yeah, we can. All right. So let's see if we can build this now. So there's two gears on either side. Just one controller should be good enough. Wow, so we were able to build it. Okay, so we have this controller. Okay, so the next thing we want to build uh, would be the fan blade. Let's see if we can build that. Uh, would that be here? I don't think we researched anything having to do with cotton yet. Uh, not cotton, wool. But it may be part of what we studied with engineering. Who knows? I don't know if the colors matter, but I do have white. I want to try black just to see if it does matter. So the windmill. Um, I don't remember. Windmill blade. Okay. Um, so it sticks. So let's do this. Oh, I wanted to try black actually. So let's do black first. 
and then this all around with one in the middle. Yes, it does work with black. Does it make the blade black though? No, it looks white to me. All right, so let's build a, a few of these. Now, I wonder if we can do normal crafting here. We can. Okay, so we'll make a lot of sticks and then just divide it out. Like that with the wool around. I think we need a lot of these blades, so I'm just going to make a whole mess of them. All right, I think this is the last of the sticks that I need. Let's bring it over here and plop them in. Okay, so we have 64 plus 13. Easy addition here. We have 77. I think that should be enough. Let's see, because I want a 7 by 7, 49. If we do a 9 by 9 is 81, we'll need a few more. Let's just keep it like that for now. We'll see how big it gets, because the size of the windmill that I'm going to be making, it depends on that. Oh, look at that. I could have placed it here, and it'll, I guess, fill automatically once I make one craft. It'll just keep pulling from down here. I guess that's how it works. Okay, so... The next thing we want to build, let's see everything that has to do with windmill. I'll just pull it all up. This is from Advanced Machines. Uh, ancient, okay, so I remember there is one thing we, we need is the sticks that connect the controller to the blade. And I think they're called torque something. Uh, light torque or something like that. Here they are, these gears. Light torque junction. Let's make a few of these. Let's see if we can make it. Um, okay, I haven't seen this one. Wooden torque shaft. Just a number of sticks across in a straight line. Let's pull up a lot of uh, this wood here. And put it in a straight line. Okay, it looks like we can build it. Yeah, we can. So, it's not just this. Let's make 10 of these. I don't know how many we actually need. But let's make 10. And then the gear, let's pull it up again. It was light torque, something like that. Light torque junction. So it's four of these. So we're going to actually need 40 if we want 10 of these. And we need uh, 10 of those gears. We have nine. So let's just do nine of them. Uh, so let's see now. Nine times four. 32... Let's see if we can do this then. So it's sticks and we'll pull it from here. Let's see if it pulls from that inventory. It is pulling. Okay. So let's just keep going a bit more. One, two. And that should do. Okay. Now the gears go in the middle. Like that, was it? No. Okay, maybe I need research for this. Let's take a look. Oh, it's four. Okay, let's do that. And this in the middle. Oh, I'm missing. Yeah, I'm missing one. Okay, let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Put this down here. And the gear in the middle. So we have nine light torque junctions. All right, guys, I took a little bit of a break because I did need to do a little bit more research. This thing is getting complicated. Let's put some stuff away. Uh, I think I'm going to need the stone, in fact. So let's get that back. Oh, I only have 28. So let's just send a couple to get smelted. Um, all right. So we do need a lot of wood. Now, the reason why we need a lot of wood is because what we're building is a lightweight um, windmill. This is a decorative item. I don't really need a windmill. We have plenty of power with our reactor, and a windmill provides power. Uh, this whole project has to do with aesthetics. I'm just building something to make the place look nice, so I don't need any power from this. But in order to make it work, I do need at least the minimal, and the minimal is called lightweight. Uh, so, that would be, nope, yeah, light, the kinds of things that we're building are light, 
that's the grade and it requires wood now as you go up in quality uh, or power you're gonna see that you're gonna need iron gold diamond or whatever but better quality stuff we're just using wood because it's the minimal thing that we need and oh non-sanity saying hello so hey bro so the next thing we need is a flywheel and that's this now there's a couple of things we're gonna need here energy storage we're also gonna need uh, but this is what we're building here what is this technical block gears and flywheels by chisel very nice chisel has added animated blocks okay so we're gonna need the wooden gear sets we're gonna need a few of these again because the flywheel energy storage um, oh it doesn't need okay so we only need one set of these let's just build one set of these yep and there we are oh, only grabbed one okay we should be able to build this now it's a shame I can't shift question mark it that's one thing that would be great for this mod um, because my memory is so bad so it's H and this nope I guess I did something wrong okay it looks like we need to do research because it doesn't accept and I do have it correct alright I think I got everything I need let's go back here and put it in and occupy I made five note blocks just in case I'm gonna need it for anything else in the future uh, this should start progressing and it does let's put these away and I don't know what it is we need for the flywheel there's something missing for the flywheel so now that I've researched it and it's in my book I can carry it over here gotta be careful I never lose this book um, it still doesn't show so there's still something else I'm missing but how do I find out what it is that I'm missing hmm uh, let's go back here again and take a look at the research queue is there anything else I might need maybe construction has to do with it okay we got the string and we got everything else we need pickaxe some iron string and sticks all right hopefully this will bring up the research that we need oh something stuck I don't have enough of sticks let's go get some sticks from this got plenty over here we don't need and put it in here that looks like it was the problem now let's see if we can access the flywheel construction and we'll grab the book and put it in the engineering alright put it in here do we see it we don't see it yet there's still something missing uh, theory of gravity leadership and mining this is more technological maybe it's this so let's escape and go back here we need an apple an apples easy I don't need to cut away for that let's grab a stack of apples all right and the iron we're running out of string I can pulverize more wool no problem grab that yes and we'll get rid of this stuff just to keep an organized bar here we'll grab the book and see if we can do it all right back to the engineering let's see yes we can make it so it was gravity mathematics construction uh, was basically what we were missing those three so here we have the flywheel the um, energy storage that's where the energy will go might as well just keep an energy storage even though we don't really need this for energy let's see energy I'm assuming we'll need chemistry or something because uh, it deals with acids for a, bat for a battery so we'll need some glass panes there we are we'll need a few of these so let's put this in here and grab as many as we can three I think we can do more let's grab a stack of glass I don't have any glass okay let's grab some sand we'll smelt these guys up and I'll be right back all right, I'm very sure I won't need this many, but I'm going to make a stack. And uh, yeah, we were here. Let's fill this in. 
And so we have eight in total. Let's just do a lot. Uh, double click this and spread all the mayonnaise out. 15 should do. All right, let's head over to the place. I want to show you what I've built off camera. We'll go over to the new place and we'll head over here. So here's the tower that I'm building. And oh, I forgot to make the glass for here. Actually, I do. No, I don't have the glass with me. Okay, so the flywheel controller, we're going to place it over here. All right, I think I've built something incorrectly. I don't think we need a light torch junction. I think what we need is a light torch shaft. Uh, that would be torque. Let's see, light torque junction, light torque shaft. What is this? Distributor. Let's try this. So it's just uh, stacks of wood like this. Nope. What was it? Um, oh, shaped crafting. So it could be anywhere. Let's grab these and go over here. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. So we got to get rid of these because I think they're wrong. I don't think these go here. Let's get rid of this and that. And so the controller will go out where the fan will go. I guess we got to build a bridge for the controller. Let's see how far we have to bring it out though. Yeah, that looks about right right there. Nope, wrong direction. It'll go this way. Yeah. Okay, so now we can put the fan on there. And uh, let's start placing them, I guess. Um, okay. So I'm not sure how many I, I'm going to need. Let's try six for now. This is two, three, four, five, six. All right, guys, I'm just about finished. I made a lot more wool. Right now, I'm in the hundreds of wool that were needed to make these windmills. And I'm hoping that by the end, I will at least be centered. Because if you're not centered, it'll show. So I'll have to move stuff around if it doesn't. So it looks like I made a few too many. Ooh, there it is. Okay, and that's a nice size. Let's drop down to the shadow that occurs because of this island above. So yeah, there it is. Now I wonder if there's a way to dye it. I'm going to make some dye and probably dye it down something like a dark gray or maybe a light gray. It might work with the sides. If you'll notice, this limestone that I used here, this is one texture of the limestone from Chisel. But then I used light ones around the sides up here in the housing for the controller because I figured I wanted to stand out. I wanted to make it look a little different as, as if it doesn't belong or is not the same as the rest of this. And also, I added a divider here just to indicate that there's floors or levels inside. And then I put glass all around. Uh, this is an easy construct. It's pretty easy. I guess I'll... Oh, I can't even pass these blades. I thought I could go right through them. One thing I do need to do is to build, build out to here. Because it looks like the controller does have to clear the roof. The controller does have to connect to the fans. You can't connect the controller to torque shafts to the blade at least as far as I've seen you know what I'd like to try it real quick let's see if you can now it gets pointed this way we only need one space so let's just do that and why is this fan still rotating there's no controller there I guess the fan will rotate as long as it's a viable fan okay so we'll connect this first to see if that works a light torque junction does not work or you have to face it into the place. No, it doesn't work. Okay. Uh, let's try the other, the torque shaft. And point it in. That might work. Uh, let's see. No, actually it shouldn't because there's no gear on this side. There's only a gear on this side as you can see. So this will definitely go this way if I, if I bring it in here. Oops, pointing them wrong. Apparently they can go in all three directions or axis. Uh, 
the list pointed this way, like that. And the controller's got to move up. So let's get the fan blades out of the way. We're not going to need them anymore. Uh, this and that. So this will go here. If I can get close enough. Yes, it does work. Um, oh, looks like we pointed it in again the wrong way. All right, so it goes this way. Uh-huh. Oh, I accidentally broke a fan blade. That's what happened. Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing how that automatically just becomes a multi-block like that. I believe what you can do is use a wrench and just rotate it that way. But since I didn't bring a wrench with me, let's just do it the, the hard way. <laughs> Let's get rid of this. We can reach it a little bit better from in here. And then go to the controller. There it goes, and it's rotating. All right, so it has to go from the root out to the fans. That's how it has to go. So we'll need a base over here. Aha. Oh, yeah, I was going to make an assumption that if you get rid of the platform, this will shut off because it has no way to balance itself. But I guess it doesn't matter. But I will build a platform anyway. I mean, it stands to reason it has a sort of mock platform under it. So I'll make a little platform for it. But this is already developing a little bit of power. And you can see that this big uh, shaft that goes down is actually rotating. And finally, we're done. I built the, uh, the platform. I'll show you in a second. But I wanted to show you how I'm going to place this. And I do want to try it out. I want to connect an energy cell right now to see if this works this goes down to the first floor just a little bit more oh I didn't make enough but I'll make that another time what I want to do is connect this energy cell to see if this works doesn't seem to be intaking so let's bring this all inward like that that doesn't work and it is rotating so that is definite let's connect this to the side here doesn't seem to be taking either so something's up with this now I did bring a crescent wrench we can try rotating some of the shafts later but how about here maybe there's some kind of a machine that we have to build maybe this is it let's see no nope. well, let's use the crescent wrench is a lot faster and uh, we'll just exchange the wand for this Yes, there it is. All right, so it has to go to the other side of the wheel, the gear. That is strange. I don't understand that. doesn't make sense to me. You'd think it'd be at the end of this somehow, and maybe a machine to convert the power over to RF. But whatever. It's not really for energy, like I said. This is only an aesthetic thing. I only built this to for the looks of it. Uh, so that the uh, it'll be a little diversion from the base, which will be over there in the center. Um, but I guess that is it. I'm just going to put some more glass in this area here. And I, if I want to shut off the uh, the system, all I got to do is just aim toward the middle somewhere and break a block. Pretty simple. And to start it back up again, just replace that block. Pretty crazy, isn't it? All right, guys. I think that is all. I think that's all I wanted to cover. If you have any questions, suggestions, comments, please feel free to post them down there. Um, I invite all comments and suggestions. And, uh, well, I guess this is it. And thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all next time.